Okay, so I'm going to try to attempt a video of the swipes that I'm going to be doing for my great niece, Serenity. The adorable baby I shared the video of loving the last picture frame painting I did. I got the painted glass from this frame right here. That's the cardboard inserts. It's supposed to make it, because it's pretty thick, it's supposed to make it look like it's a um, floating frame with a picture. But I'm only painting the glass. I've got lavender sachet here in Apple Barrel paint brand. Got a good liquid consistency where it almost disappears as soon as it hits. Everybody's the same. This one's dark so you won't be able to see it that well. This one is Velvet Crush in Apple Barrel. This one right here is a combination of Cloudless and Caribbean because I didn't have enough Cloudless. This one is Bimini Blue by Apple Barrel. And then I'm going to be swiping with a pewter gray, elephant gray, and I don't remember the other gray. I didn't have enough of any of them, so I've mixed them all together in here. Put the glue and the water in here. Alright. So now, I'm going to start with little darker colors about an inch from the top because that's where my gray is going to go. Drips don't matter because they come out cool in the swipes. I am using a cookie cooling sheet to hold this and I got my digital scale underneath the glass to keep the glass up off of this grid. Otherwise, it's going to be sticking to it, and it's going to have these weird little things all over the edges. You don't want that. Let's go to the Bimini Blue. We're just pouring. It don't have to be perfect. We can always go back and touch up if there's any space in between the paints. Or you can just leave it and just slide through it. My niece really loved the other one. It was mostly pinks, I think. I think I'd used the lavender sachet on that one. But my niece uses purple and blue for everything for my great niece. So I'm going to do her purple blue painting instead of giving her that pink one. I hope she likes it like she did the other one. I got the paint touching there, but that's okay because I get a cool little effect. Whenever I pour other paint on top of paint that's already been touching, it comes out pretty neat looking. I'm just alternating the dark and the light. And this is just going to go right over as if that's not even there. See? This hole should close up. Yep. And then we're going to come right off the edge here. Just let it drip off the edge. That way it's at least there. I'll take the popsicle stick for my carpal tunnel. These thicker popsicle sticks work a lot better than these thin ones because these thin ones I have to grasp it weird and stuff and it just doesn't work out right. For my drip, right now I'm using just a regular puppy pad. I can use it a couple of times, especially if I'm using the cookie cooling rack. It kind of helps it. I'm just kind of going and making sure that it's all touching the edges over here. And then, this little shape to make sure it gets settled. I do want to pop some of the bubbles right now. Not all of them, just a couple. Because the swap's going to take out some. Oh, and I do have coconut milk hair serum in each one of these cups, just one itty bitty drop. And when I'm talking about one itty bitty drop, you sit there and you hold it, you baby it. And you just slowly, slowly squeeze and you let the drop come off itself. Oh, not like that. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Is it starting to bubble? I'll kind of push just a little. Just, oh, and it fell, there you go. I know that was out of focus. Now I just want to come up and make sure all of this is good. And I even like going and just rawr through it. 
as Bob Ross says, you got to make them little sounds to bring your paintings alive. Okay, now I'm going to try to figure out how I can set up my phone to where I can swipe with both hands and still be able to record it. Let me see here. Once I do finally get... Excuse my mess, please. i got to get a trash bag in here. Trash piles up pretty quick when you're doing this type of painting. Let's see if I can get it to sit on this. Oh, you can kind of... I need something to go under the hold it from falling. It's not going to work. I will figure this out, guys. I'm going to pause the video, get it figured out, and I'll be back. 